Okay. Yo, I don't have no intro. I came straight from work. But let me take these headphones off real quick. We jam into some Ella May, Ella May today. I already Y'all think I done broke my headphones. It might be time for me to find some new ones. But I already did cardio. I did 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. Because when I came in here, it was jam-packed. Like, that's why I'm soaking wet. I might not look soaking wet in the camera, but I am. Um, apparently, I just got a 2x5 here today. So... Try warming up. <laughs> Easy money. What weight should we do for two by five? I'm thinking what I did last week, hundreds. I'm thinking I warm up with 10 on each side and then bump it up to the 25s and do those. That's what I'm thinking. Get another warm up set in real quick. Yeah, I can do 25s. Oh, but. You know what I'm saying? So, one of my one of y'all on here asked about high bar versus low bar squat, and if I thought I could make a difference. Um, some people the way they squat high bar worked better for them. I figured out last year, actually the end of the year before last, I figured out low bar worked better for me. So, ever since then I've been low bar squatting. Um, I ain't fooled with high bar squat for real since then. Um. Yeah, it's just personal preference. Do what you like to do. All right, so we're moving up to 95. And I don't know, y'all. I might put my hoodie back on because I am not sweating. And I don't play that. Nothing too crazy. Little D low action. I think I was in control. Alright, this is 95 pounds. This is my last set. Headphones be cool to it's time for me to do my set because them jumps fall off. I did not get down right or something. Okay, not trying to do nothing major here. Just get a couple reps and I'm gonna go down and do my two by six. One more. 
<sighs> Not gonna lie, that felt good. So I stayed there. We might work here. When it feels good, you stay good. I'll have that though. Two more. One more. Oh, that was a finna get me. This is both RP6. All right, y'all, we got bent over rows, and I'm doing them with dumbbells because I don't want to do a barbell. Three by six. <laughs> Decent. Okay, set two, then I'm going into plate raises. Almost set. All right, now I already know how we do. Last set, been set. <clears throat> Y'all notice the clothes stay on. What I tell you. All the plate races. Hi, child. Say the one bees. Plate races up. Low kick can stay there, but it's six, so I'm going to go up. Uh, I feel like I need to move my camera, but. <sighs> <sighs> One down, two to go. Do I need to go down, y'all? Tell me. Shoot. My stomach flat enough? Nope. Still giving pregnant. Hey. Guys should be so thankful that they're not women. And don't have to worry about being bloated. Just because Aunt Flo want to come in town. I'll try to myself. That was very, very hard. I'm not even going to pretend like a season. All right, I got one more set. Yeah, I'm going to take my shirt off of this just to look at it. But while I'm doing that, let me show y'all, tell y'all. Um, <clears throat> y'all are not entitled to tell people online what to do. Like, there's people that be saying stuff that be completely unrelated to what I put out. I put out stuff for content, not for advice because you think you got something that's going to help me. Because if I want to learn from you, I ask. Um, but I have a trainer. That's why I be trying to get the thick skulls. I have a trainer. Um, nothing I'm doing. I ain't gonna say nothing. My pull ups that I did, learn how to do, I did by myself. But nothing else as far as my program, do I want input from random people? Like, and I feel like anytime I say something, people always get upset, like, oh, you want to dim that tell you to shut up and mind your business for sure go talk to my trainer if you feel like he need help don't talk to me and that's for the people that 
are always on TikTok. They be like, oh, well, I, I can say what I want to say. And then when I respond how I want to respond, y'all be in y'all feelings. When I tell y'all, you ain't got no physique to aspire towards, y'all be in y'all feelings. Y'all be ready to fight. Your chest be hurting. No, have your chest hurting because you don't know how to mind your business. That's all I got to say. I had something else to say. What was it? I'll say it tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. <sighs> that was on the sticks and that hurt so bad. I'm going to do one more set here and then go to the other ones where I don't have to hold myself up. <sighs> That jump, whoo, too much pressure. Whew. Whew. Listen, I for sure waited too long enough to say that. I don't be trying to be me. I be trying to be the nicest person. And I've come super far. And the fact that I didn't even respond to dude comment on TikTok is like, y'all don't understand why people get irritated when y'all say stuff. And it's because nobody asks. Sometimes I specifically ask. Now I don't do it no more because I don't care what y'all say. But. And y'all understand, you also have to be to a point where you don't care. Because if I cared what you had to say, I never would have started doing what I was doing. I never would have had success on my journey. So, I don't know. <coughs> the real ones understand. I don't know if y'all noticed, that's why exactly why I mind my business. Like, you lose 100 pounds, people be like, oh, I be doing this, this, and this. No, you learn to mind your business because people don't even be studying about what you got to say for real. Like, they want you to say it, but they're not actually listening. So, I don't waste my breath. I post my content. If somebody asks a question, I got them. I still got to make a video for one of my friends on TikTok. Um, of course, for everybody, but she's been asking about what I did to lose weight, what my formula was and everything. But for the most part, people be too focused on other people's journeys when they got stuff they can progress on themselves. Don't come critique what I got going on because I posted. Mind your business. <laughs>